Hi guys and welcome back to Tracy's Allotment Vlogs. So this weekend we're away in the camper van. I'll do a tour. Um, it's not fully finished yet, but uh, I'll do a tour. So we're on a farm in Northumberland. So be a little spin around and it's raining, but the dogs have still got to be walked. And oh, there's a train as well. So we're near a... Oh, I missed it. Anyway, there was a train. Hold on, I'll turn you around. You can't really see it anyway, it's in the distance. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we tested the camper van out at Walney Island a couple of weekends ago. And then um, something broke on the van. Like it was now um expensive or whatever the part was only like 20 pound and carl was able to fix it anyway so um so it's our first one away it's just me carl and the dogs and um, because it's durham miners gala today and uh, our son's gone to that with his friends and he's staying over at his nana's so yeah so we're just walking the dogs around the field just to get them uh settled down a bit after the journey so it was only like a two hour journey but we've had to stop a couple of times because oscar was bleating on so yeah so i'll bring you along when we cook an old tea later on and uh so we're back at the van now so we've had a walk and <laughs> i've just got an old uh throw on top of our blanket just because like i say the feet and that's going to be wet We've had a nice walk out around the fields and up the lanes and we're now back. So I'm going to do a cup of coffee um, and I'll give you a little tour. So this is like a seating area. Um, two seconds, I'll see if I can zoom out. Oh, I can't zoom out. But anyway, this is like a little seating area. We've got some um, buttons and stuff here that's connecting to the solar lights, which in turn we can charge our phones, use anything on a USB. And then my mum is at the minute, I'm just going to turn you around. Sorry about the dodgy camera skills. So my mum, I've just zoomed out there, she's making us some uh, cushions. So she's done the two for there, then she's just done doing them um, for us. And then we're going to have a curtain over there and a curtain underneath there. Um, so what we've had to do, we went, we went to Walney, Reuben, which is him, who's always trouble. He can't fit on the bed. We thought that would have been ample space for him, but he kept dropping off. So we've got this bit of board here and we've got two legs and it just sort of rests on there. And I'll show you later on, but it pulls out and it makes the bed a bit wider for Reuben. Under here, um, we've got some storage in there. So just baby wipes, towels, there's a um, windbreak. Bits of clothes, there's all sorts of bits of water and stuff like that's in there. Um, we've got the toilet under there and then we made this cupboard and it's a bit of a lifesaver to be honest. Um, I stained this with coffee, just coffee grounds mixed in with water and just brushed it on. Um, so in here got first aid kit, tea towel, kettle which I'm going to get on in a minute. Some crisps, me water, some surface wipes, gas canisters, a little cooker, um, barbecue tool set. Then in this side, I forgot to fill that up before we came away, but I've got some frying pans there. There's some tea bags, tea uh, cups, sauce, chocolate, plates in there, some pin bags, a couple of... Uh, what you call it? Like works top savers and um, cutting things. What's them things called you cut on, Carl? Chopping, Chopping board. board. <laughs> you can tell who does the cooking. And then that's our knives, forks, lighters, kitchen foil, um, or pack of cards and stuff like that in there. Um, and that is about it other than the bed. And then we've got the boys... We've got under storage under here. Um, the leisure batteries are in that corner over there. I've got some nice lanterns and stuff for on a night. Ruben's bed. 
I've got some new pans in there and like some water and stuff and then obviously that storage goes all the way back to the back of the van um, where we've got stuff as well Tracy, sorry to interrupt, can I have uh, pegs? Yeah, Please. I'm on a... I'm just going out there, you're getting soaking guys <laughs> You're not getting soaking There's the... It's you just think you are Yeah, so we've got a canopy that goes on the side of the van and Carl's going to do that and I'm going to get get the kettle on otherwise I'll get wrong because it'll be gasping for a cuppa so I'll see you in a bit. Hey! Way! Have you just got in? Eh? Have you just got in off the walkies? Get them, right, Oscar. Have you just got in off the walkies? Eh? Is that you telling us? Is that where your treaties are? Hey? Is that where your treaties are? Eh? What's Reuben doing? What you doing on the bed? Eh? Are you telling us this is where the treats are, ma'am? Let's have a look. He knows where the treaties are now. Right, you've had a lot today, so we're going to snap it up. You can have that one. You can have one bit of a one right no more today now Reuben you can have that bit and you can have that bit there you go hi everyone so this is our little Coogan set up nothing flash um, so we've got just a portable excuse the dog's dinner there but we've got um, a portable camping stove and it just takes the gas canisters there we've used this quite a few times and um, I'm still on with the first canister so and I can't remember I think it was about £20 from me uh, go like go outdoors so what we're going to have for our tea tonight we're going to have um, some gammon we're going to have some Jersey Royal potatoes with a fried egg and some peas and that's what we're going to have tonight so what I'm going to do um, this is really easy, you just put your gas canister in, push that down, put it down to click and then that's it, the gas is on. So I'm going to put my potatoes in there, cook them first. Carl did suggest maybe getting another one of them so I could cook like a couple of things at once and I think that would be a, a good idea. We haven't got a lot of fixed stuff in here, um, purely because we just seeing how it goes um, before I put a fixed sink in and a fixed this, that and the other because we just need to sort of find our bearings and for after Carl made us buy this passion fruit and raspberry cheesecake so yeah so I'm going to get my potatoes in and we'll get them cooked first So there's the uh, peas in the pan and these little pans here that I got, I got them from Tesco's and you got three for 11 quid which I didn't think was bad. And these frying pans I got two and they were from Home Bargains and how much were them Carl? They weren't expensive were they? About eight, eight pound or something for two so yeah so I've got a few pots and pans. So we're going to, my potatoes are done now so I'm going to make a start with the uh, gammon. So they're the gammon steaks and we've got two of them for £6 in Tesco. Not had them before, um, but they are the Wiltshire Cured Unsmoked Gammon. Um, we were going to do like a campfire stew, but if you look out there, probably can't see, but you can see on the on the uh, tarp thing there, it's absolutely bucketing it down. Otherwise we'd have had maybe a barbecue or a... Um, like a campfire thing out there but um we don't mind the rain the boys have been walked they've been on two long walks so they're all right so i'm gonna just put that on i've got a bit of fry light well it's not fry light it's flora but same thing so i'm just going to put some of that in the pan and then i'm going to cook our gammon and these little camping stoves, honestly, I couldn't recommend them in, like enough. They're absolutely brilliant for for the 
job that you want them to do. And the new potatoes only took was about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes to boil. So, yep, so that's the gammon in. So these are the free range eggs from my dad's allotment. And they're going in the pan. I don't normally use this spray oily stuff, so I don't know how hopefully the the eggs cook all right. I'm sure loads of people do it. But there's the eggs on the go. So there you have it guys. Just a quick knock up of a gammon, new potatoes, fried egg, some um, petit pois peas. And uh, Carl insisted on getting these. <laughs> they remind me of a greasy spoon calf, but Red raw from the Carl, Carl likes them. So question is, red sauce or brown? So, yep, we're going to enjoy this now. So catch you in a bit, guys. So I've literally just washed up, put everything away. And Carl, I was just about to go and have a bit chill on the bed. And Carl said, where's the cheesecake? So... And I'm still waiting. <laughs> Here's the cheesecake. Um, I've set this up like with my little candles and stuff. And we have got curtains I was going to pull along. But we tie this in when we're travelling. Um, and it means I'm going to have to like untie move forward. And we're literally, no one's going to bother us. So the only thing is it's going to get like let the light in. But we're not really bothered about that at all. Because I won't be pulling the curtains along. But um, when it starts to put dark, I'll put me... Um, my candles and stuff on so i'll get this cheesecake dished out and i'll let you have a look at it so that's the cheesecake cut there what's your verdict carl nice very nice nicer than mine be careful no, how you answer no. <laughs> so there you go tesco's uh what Not is it all. passion fruit Passion fruit and raspberry cheesecake. Oh, it's baked, that one as well. So it's cooked. So anyway, we're going to have this and then we're going to watch a podcast. And Oscar's <laughs> grading. So catch you in a bit. Good morning, everyone. So we've had a good night's sleep. Um, I have tossed and turned a little bit, but I think it's because I had some Coca-Cola, um, even though it was hours before. Um... Yeah, and caffeine, just <laughs> any amount of caffeine just has me up all night. So we've got Reuben on the bed. And we've got Oscar. And uh, I don't know if you can see my little fairy lights, but they're like Tilly lights, Tilly lantern things. They're really cute. So Carl's doing a sausage sandwich for breakfast and the boys have had their sausage. Um, and then we're going to get tidied up, packed up and then home. But we haven't really done much exploring or um, anything because it was absolutely torrential from um, early evening right the way through the night, right up until now. So it's supposed to fare up a little bit later um, this morning. So we might be able to get the dogs out for a bit of a, a walk before we get home. But if not, I'm not hopeful, to be honest, because it's really, really wet. So... Next time we might do a bit more adventuring, but it was really nice just to switch off, chill out. Um, and then, like I say, just we just watched podcasts last night. Um, there was a couple of lives on YouTube, so we just watched them. Um, and just generally chilled out, which was really, really nice. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the little van tour and our adventure. So, we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>